Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. T. Marie here. I am going to show you how to mix your paints when doing acrylic pouring. And these items will also be in the description bar. I'm gonna start with my blue paint. When mixing your paints with your medium, you wanna add equal amounts of both. Um, my medium I'm using is Floatrol. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Now you want to get your stir stick and mix it. And you want to keep mixing it until you get the consistency of honey. Okay, now you want to add about 20% water and then you want to continue to mix. Keep stirring until you get a constant drip. And the consistency of honey. Now I'm going to work on my gold paint. Make sure you're using equal amounts of paint and medium. And again, mix well. So now I'm going to take my heavy duty silicone spray and spray it in a cup. I'm going to use my two smaller cups and I'm going to add some of my mixed paint into those smaller cups. I'm going to add two to three drops of silicone to each cup of paint and that will give me some pretty cool cells in my paintings. Once you have added your silicone drops to your paint, you want to take your stir sticks and give it a quick swirl. If you mix it too much, you'll get small cells. So for our painting, we're just going to give it a quick swirl. So I'm using these cups as my stand for my canvas. Now 
Now you need a separate cup to layer your paints in. I'm going to start with my gold paint. Now I'm going to layer my blue paint on top. And now you want to alternate between your colors until you have the desired amount in your cup. those colors so I'm doing a dirty pour and you're basically just pouring your paint out of your cup and onto your canvas So now I'm just using the leftover paint and tapping the corners to help the paint reach the corners once I start stretching it. Now I'm using my lighter torch that I got from the local store. And I am going to torch the paint and get all the air bubbles out before I stretch it. Now you want to take your canvas and just kind of go left to right and also front to back, covering, trying to cover your entire canvas with paint as well as your edges and your corners. an area that is being a little stubborn so I'm going to take a little bit of my paint and just spread it in that area that's having a hard time stretching and now I'm going to stretch it some more Make sure that you are checking your corners and edges. I like to use my lighter torch again once I'm finished with my painting and it brings up more cells and it also to me makes the paints a little brighter. Here is the finished painting. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment below.
See ya.